It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this tutorial, we're going to continue our journey in the VR beginner, the escape room from Unity Learn. In the previous videos, we have completed all of the main content areas for this journey. Now we're just going to explore the escape room. Let's click on continue. In this tutorial, you explore the immersive escape room VR experience designed for the learning project. You evaluate how the experience made you feel, learn more about the design process, and consider the kind of experiences you would like to make. Mark step as complete. Before you begin, you'll use the VR Beginner Unity project and your VR hardware. Before you begin, open the VR Beginner Unity project. Check that your hardware is ready. If you're using Oculus Link with the Oculus Quest, enable and connect this now through the Oculus app. Oculus Link only works with PC devices, which are Windows devices. If you have the Oculus software and you can use the Oculus app. I have a Mac, so I will have to use the build in order to deploy this to my device. You can see I already have the previous project that I've been working on. I'm going to go ahead and press Mark Complete. Explore the escape room. Before you find out more about how it's made, it's time to try out this escape room VR experience. You'll find the information you need to escape the room itself. The purpose of the experience is to escape using the information available to you. Tips before you begin. Refer back to the review your VR controller for a reminder of the controls. If something goes wrong, and you want to reset the room, look at the watch on your right hand. Once you had to go on your own or with your friends, you can move on to the next step for an overview of the escape process. We want to, this is my prototype room. I'm going to file build settings. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want this. Actually, I'm just going to save. I'm going to go back to assets. XR beginner scenes. And you can see I have final. And I have the escape room. I'm going to open up this. So you can see here is the escape room. Looks like it's on a big watermelon. Let's go inside here and just see what's going on. So this is where we're going to have to escape. You can see there's like a little smoking quadrant, there's some stuff going on. It's a bunch of stuff that's kind of built for you. So I guess we're supposed to go in here and figure out how we will actually escape. Before we move on, this is kind of the cheat how to escape. Actually, it is this one, the escape room. So I'm going to select build and run. I'm going to overwrite. Actually, that was my prototype. I'm just going to change this to escape room game. Now it's going to build to my headset, and I'm going to try to escape without cheating. Here's the key. I'm going to place it inside of there. Pull out the book. Grab the book and place it on the table. Now we can teleport. So I can see those things are activated. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab out this. Let's see what this says. This says one X, one Y. Hmm. So let's teleport over here. Let's see what this is. Okay. Uh, oh, here's a wand. There we go. Let's go back over here. Let's see what can we do. Oh, the wand does that. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Let's move here. Okay. There's the meat that I saw in that little hint guide. I guess it wants meat in there. There we go. Need a pumpkin. There's a pumpkin and a feather. 
Oh, feather is number two, so I need to drop that feather in there. And the back. That pumpkin, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, let's turn it up. Let's cook this thing. Let's pull that. Okay, and let's brew it. Oh, we got a potion. Hmm, let's grab that. Uh, okay, let's go over here. Let's see. That's the same type of potion. Okay. Oh, looky, looky. We are free. Let's get out of here. Let's complete. Evaluate your experience. Now that you complete the escape room, let's take a moment to evaluate the experience. It can be very helpful to reflect on an interactive experience, to connect how design choices related to your experience as a user. If you'd like to explore this more, download the escape room evaluation grid. So let's just open that up. You can complete this grid or you can just use this as a guide for your evaluation. It includes examples to help you get started. As you evaluate your experience, try to also consider how your familiarity with VR influenced your experience, how your external environment influenced the experience. So let's take a look at this document. Escape room evaluation grid, world building style. Record your observations of each element of this experience. Again, you're going to fill this out. Effect on you. What was the impact on the design and development team's choices you? Try to evaluate the reason why your choices had the effect. Again, you're going to fill this out. An effect on others. We don't all expand to experiences in the same way. Do others have different experiences? What are their reasons? Again, you're going to fill this out. Once you fill this out, make sure you turn it to your teacher. Go ahead and press mark complete. Designing the escape room, technical scoping. The escape room design process was an iterative and collaborative process involving a range of technical and artistic contributors, experience, and fast prototyping. The technical requirements for the VR experience included using the XR Interaction Toolkit as a basis for all interactions in the game experience, showcasing common interactions and existing VR experiences driven by physics to demonstrate useful and familiar gameplay elements, demonstrating a range of visual effects in VR, including a dashboard so the player could try more mechanical interactions. This became the cauldron. Lightweight assets which would run easily in the Oculus Quest, which is essentially a mobile device. Let's go ahead and press mark complete. Design the escape room style and an environment. The artistic team worked with close collaboration with technical scoping and gameplay design to make sure the experience felt engaging and cohesive. They knew from the start that the style had to work well with lightweight assets and that it had to invite players to engage with the world around them in VR. The team established their requirements as follows. A simplistic low poly art style with a few textures to convey an engaging world but maintain good performance and optimization. Creating the majority of the shaders for the environment in the shader graph so they would easily be accessible to more advanced users who want to customize them. Creating more complex effects with the VFX graph which is a technical artist used to integrate effects like the quadrant into the project. They also decided to set different lighting and, shade and shadow preferences for PC and mobile platforms, which meant limiting the effects on mobile wouldn't affect the outcome of the PC build. Go ahead and press mark step as complete. Designing the escape room gameplay. Important considerations for the gameplay des design included integrating magic with associated visual effects into the environment and key gameplay moments to immerse and engage players in the environment and identify the range of possible interactions and how they could be matched both objects and define aesthetics. Locating the major gameplay moments for escape at workstations around the environment to encourage exploration but also to provide logical places for players to look for guidance if they were unsure what to do. Balancing challenge, common, and escape room activities with an inviting and non-pressure environment. Let's mark this step as complete. Challenge. Generate ideas for your own escape room. If you're going to make your own VR experience, what design choices would you make? It can be really useful to identify the kind of experiences you're interested in creating. 
Even if you don't begin with the design and development process, this can help you describe how to continue your learning journey and identify any areas you're interested in exploring further. Download the VR Idea Generation Grid. You can complete this grid or just use it as a guide for your idea generation. It includes examples how you to get started. As you think about the kind of experience you like to create, consider who would your target user or player be? What differences would a VR environment make to the experience compared to a real world? How would the aesthetic style you choose inform their experience? Let's press mark complete. This is the idea generation grid. What elements would you use to include in your own VR experience? You're going to answer these questions. How do you want to engage or impact the user? Again, you're going to answer these questions. What would you need to consider when creating this experience? Again, you're going to answer these questions. When you're done with this, make sure you turn it into your teacher. 10. In this tutorial, you have explored the escape room VR experience. Evaluate the player experience. Find out more about the design process. Generate ideas for the type of escape room experiences you would like to design yourself. Next, if you'd like to explore VR design and development further, why not continue your learning journey? So I'm just click on this to show you. But I'm going to mark this step as complete. And now I'm going to go back to VR Beginner. And you can see I have completed all my steps. Make sure I've completed all my steps. Oh, I forgot to mark this one. Now I've marked all my steps. So let me just undo this and do boom. And you can see start again. Now, if I go back to VR Explorer, here you go. And now I've completed this entire tutorial. Let's have a look at next steps we've completed previously, and it shows you we will be going through these in the future. So that's it for that. Make sure you turn in all your work to your teacher.